page four, Music Land. Now this piece, it's up to you if you don't have a teacher, read all the pages prior to this. Make sure you understand all that. I'm not here to teach you how to read music. There's plenty of other videos on YouTube that'll teach you how to read music. So you can go watch them and learn how to read music. All right? If you have questions, feel free to ask in the comments or you can tweet me. I'll put the Twitter feed in the description. They have a chart which shows you your hand position. We call this C position because the bottom note for each hand is a C. Ain't that convenient? Yeah. Now they're showing you the finger numbers. When I was little, first learning to play, my teacher used these books. Not this edition. I have old books. I can't find them. I don't know what to do with So I bought new ones for this to do these videos on. But what I used to do when I was little is rather than read the note, I would just read the finger number. Because it was easier for me to remember the finger number and I'd say, okay, third finger plays, and then fourth finger, and then fifth finger, and I didn't worry about the note. It wasn't until later on when I finally was forced to learn to read the notes. So I'm cautioning you on that to read the notes, learn the notes, don't just read the finger numbers, okay? Know what the notes are. Now as far as using my videos, you're supposed to already be able to play this before you play it with me, all right? Don't watch the video and expect to learn to play it from my video. That's not the idea. My video is just to supplement or to add to what you already know, may know, right? If anything. Right? Now John Thompson, in the book, they're introducing phrases. Boy, that's interesting. Right off, usually a method book will go well, several pages before they introduce phrases. This method book is starting right at the beginning. Since they're introducing it, let's talk about them. The first line is the first phrase. This just happens to be that way. Not all music is that way, but this one is. And the second phrase is the second line. Don't think that each line is a, a different phrase. It's not. All right. Has nothing to do with it. The phrase is marked by that curved line, either over or under the notes, one of them, all right? That's a phrase. You know how we talk in sentences. Blah, we talk in sentences. We talk, there's a little break between each sentence, a little pause or whatever. Well, in music, we play music in sentences, except we don't pause, but there is a break in the sound. The last measure of the first line on that E for the right hand, okay? Now before I play the E on the next one, I don't want a break in the, in the rhythm. The rhythm's got to keep going, but I'm going to have a little break in the sound, or raise the E up, and then push it down for the second phrase. So there's just a little silence between the phrases, alright? It adds a whole lot to the music. Since they're telling you about it now, I suggest you just go ahead and start trying to do it. You'll be doing it from now on, uh, and it, it really does help. And since we're on the subject, I just as well hark on this. I normally don't point this out this early because this is your first piece in the first book. It helps when playing the piano. If you would play the melody a little bit louder than the other stuff. Other stuff being accompaniment or whatever else. So in music land, the right hand happens to have the melody in this piece. Right? The left hand is just fill. It's company money. It's harmony. It's just other stuff. So play the right hand louder than the left. If you play them the same, now play the right hand louder than the left. Isn't that a lot nicer to listen to than the other? So I'm going to remind you Remember the phrases. I want a, a silence between the phrases and bring out the melody. It means you don't have to play it loud. You just have to play it normal. Play the melody how you're going to play it. However you're going to play it. Just make sure the other stuff is under it. All right. Don't play the melody loud because you got to do the other stuff lower. Play the melody where it belongs and make the other stuff lower than that. Whatever it is. So let's play this music land together. I set the metronome at 70 for a quarter note at 70. Uh, the idea is you start slowly and then you gradually speed it up. As you can you know, play it better and better, you speed it up a little bit. They're showing an MM 
quarter note equals 60 through 120. So anywhere between 60 and 120 is what they're suggesting for a quarter note. So you can gradually work it up that way. So let's see what we got here. The hands are in C position. I'll give you four counts and we'll play it together. One, two, ready, go.